Hey guys, so yes, if you don't already know this, I have cut my hair. To be honest, it was a lot shorter than what I wanted it to be as well, but after the initial shock of, oh my god, it's so short, um, I got over it and kind of just realized it's hair, it's gonna grow back, but I kind of wanted it to be up to my shoulders and happen to be underneath my chin. So we'll see what happens, but for now I'm pretty content with my hair and I've learned to live with the length. So let's get on to it. My name's Rochelle and welcome to Simple Social Sister. So as you've probably already known by the title, this is a Colourpop haul. So I bought quite a lot of stuff and I'm just going to get to doing all the swatches. Um, if you guys also wanted to hear my, about my experience and what I thought of the products, Skip towards the end of the video and check the description down below as to what time in this video um, I start talking about the products. But for now, here are the swatches. I got my mind on your heart, but it's out of sea. Can you still rescue me? And even in the cold, and when I'm alone, is it a sea?
I'm going to be talking first about um, the shipping because shipping to Australia, especially with ColourPop, is quite pricey. So I did quite a big order because ColourPop did change the way that their shipping system and delivery system works. Um, they used to do it by weight, but now they do it by um, weight category, I think. So the weight category that I um, fell into was the $25 shipping fee, which isn't too bad considering that I got around 11 to 12 products. Now the process actually took around three weeks, which is normal. This including the processing of the actual product all the way to the actual delivery time. So I was pretty excited when this actually came to my house because I've been waiting for it for such a long time. I was also pretty lucky that nothing was broken. I know a couple people have said that they received like eyeshadows or blushes that have been broken or cracked. Luckily I didn't order a lot of those things and the products that I received were in perfect condition. I also think it's really cool that the box comes in with a lot of like padding like this which secures one of the products so I'm not sure how other people have been getting things that have been broken but mine was heavily secured in a lot of padding I actually just realized I haven't shown you guys the box this is the box that it comes in it's very very pretty however I have sort of like updated it a little bit I saw a video by um, a youtuber called Corinne Suarez yeah, I'm just double checking her name Corinne Suarez who I will leave a link down below that will teach you how to get um, this sort of looking like this um, because I think the boxes are so pretty they've got such a pretty design and I didn't want to chuck it away so um, I just ran into a video randomly and I thought this was the perfect idea to sort of keep all your boxes intact so on to the product reviews I'm first going to be talking about the liquid lipsticks um, as you can tell because that's what I got the most of so these are the satin finishes and these are the matte finishes and you can kind of tell they had a scheme going on of there were more nude shades in the satin than there were in the matte and I leaned more towards the darker sides on the matte shades. I really did like the satin finishes and I kind of wish that I had purchased more because I think they're perfect for every day. The matte ones are great for every day too but I just like having sort of um, a more everyday lightweight feel um, in it and I definitely think that the satin one um, is perfect for everyone who is sort of transitioning slowly and doesn't want to go straight into the matte. In saying that, the satin finishes do have a sort of semi-matte finish to them. It is a little bit more on the matte side, which I actually really liked and was surprised by. With the satins, they are a lot more easier to take off just because they don't um, last as long as the matte one, but they do still have quite a good old day wear. With these lip products as well, I think that you have to Make sure that your lips are in the best condition that they can be. So you have to make sure that you exfoliate and you use a good lip balm the night before or um, well before you put these on because it tends to, especially the matte ones, I find they tend to stick to your dry patches. So just be mindful of that. But other than that, they're pretty much high quality for a relatively cheap price that you can get them for and they have such a pretty package to them. I also got a lippy stick which came out way before the liquid lipsticks um, and I was considering getting a lot of these but I was more gravitating towards the um, liquid lipsticks so I wanted to get one just as, to see how it would go and I got the color Aquarius. This is a cream formula. kind of got this as a dupe because my Laura Mercier Spiced Rose lipstick was running out and I wanted something that I could I could easily throw in my bag for an everyday look. Surprisingly, the cream formula is a lot thicker than I thought it would be, but it still is pretty nice. The shade is a little bit lighter than what I wanted it to be, but it's still a pretty close dupe for the Laura Mercier Spice Rose. So if you're looking for something as a cheaper alternative, I would definitely suggest grabbing this. The only thing that I'm kind of glad that I didn't get a lot is that it has a it's got like a salted caramel sort of um, scent to it, which I'm not entirely. I don't. I don't love it, but I don't hate it either. I can just find it bearable. Um, I 
kind of would have preferred it didn't have a scent but it has a salted caramel scent to it so if you love that you'll definitely get a kick out of that because that just really surprised me but I definitely will be ordering more in the future but I will say that I'm a little bit biased to the liquid lipsticks which I love I also got one lippy pencil this is kind of the one thing that I wish I had gotten way more of because these are amazing. They are quite creamy and also don't um, feather, which is what I think every lip pencil should do. I've found that I had some that just feathered and it completely defeats the purpose of having a lip pencil. So I think these are amazing. They're very highly pigmented and they are very creamy. I got the shade Dohi. I actually really like putting this underneath the Chi, which is what I've got on at the moment. So I've got this all around my lip. And then I put chi on top of it, which is which also gives like a really nice everyday sort of color. I kind of wish that they were retractable though, just because it's another step that you have to make sure you've got a really good lip pencil to make sure that this doesn't crumble or the way that it sharpened doesn't affect the pencil. But I've got a pretty good one, good one, so that didn't bother me too much. But I think just for on-the-go purposes, it would have been awesome to have one that was really but still one of my favourite products out of my whole order and I will definitely be getting more of these. Maybe more in the darker shades for my liquid lipsticks. Now I also wanted to get some sort of product in the pot, whether it was the eyeshadow or the cream. But there were so many different eyeshadows, I couldn't settle on one. So I decided to just get a Super Shock Cheek. And this is the colour Aphrodisiac. Um, the formula of these is like nothing that I have ever seen before. It's sort of a cream formula, but goes on like a powder, so it's sort of a cream to powder formula, um, which is not at all what I was expecting. I mean, I love cream products, but this is a little bit more difficult to put on, especially if it's on the go, because I tend to like more powder products. So it's really cool if you look here and see if like, you can get that I sort of make from it. It has quite like a bouncy feel to it, which I think is like pretty cool. So the only problem is that yeah, I'd have to use my fingers with these sort of products or a stipple brush. Overall, I'm pretty happy with the products that I got. The one sort of tip that I would say is make sure you look a lot at a lot of blogs and swatch videos because I find that a lot of the photos they provided on the website didn't exactly match what um, color they were advertised. I actually really did like them towards the end, but they weren't initially what I thought I was going to get when I purchased them. So that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys give this a thumbs up if you liked it and let me know down in the comments which is your favourite Colourpop product as I'm probably going to look at getting some more stuff in the future. So I'd love to get some suggestions as what your favourite products are or if you want any more questions about my experience about um, ordering for Colourpop and some of the products that I got as well, feel free to leave a comment. Also, if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button to get updates on all things Simple Social Sister. And until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!